Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what, how to connect PostgreSQL database with Beekeeper Studio. So let's open the Beekeeper Studio. And now you can see there is a new connection and you can click on this drop down. Here you can get different database are available. My SQL, MariaDB, here you can see PostgreS there. So you need to click this. When you click here, connection type PostgreS, host, local host, and port 5432 automatically is selected. And here you need to give the username and the password. So when I open there, PC admin, from there you can easily analyze the user of PostgreSQL. So PG admin management tools for and when I click here this connect. So here you can see user is now Postgres. So version using Postgres SQL 16 and this is the user. So let's give the password and now this is connected with the PG admin. So that here you need to give the user Postgres. And whatever the password you have set it at the time of installation of Postgres, you should give here the same password. And after giving the password, let's uh, drop down. Then you can see database. So if you want, then you can uh, check the database here. So this is now database that's available, Postgres. Or if you want, then you can give your different database. So here we can give the database Postgres and now let's give the test connection. So connection looks good. There is no any problem. Let's click on this connect. So inside the Postgres database, this table stats percent there. So when I click on this countries, here you can see countries. And when I right click, you can see the structure of this countries. This columns and no index are there. Let's select employees. This is employees. Now let's select here view structure. So there is no, also no index is there. And after that, when I click here, you can export the files. You can import the files. Copy name. You can copy and uh, here you can this you can copy name and after that you can do whatever you want so there is the you can call only copy this name as uh, facilities there after that if you want then you can hide so the table that has hidden and uh, the next is here this option is hide option that is also there you can also do the hidden after that, when I select here, employees, so here, SQL to create, so here this is the create table, and this all columns are there, so here you can easily analyze so how's the table that's created. And after that, here SQL create, you can rename, drop, truncate, and make that duplicate. So when you click on this duplicate, here you can give employees copy let's click on this apply okay and now here this is the refresh button is there so let's do the refresh and now here you can see employees copy that's created and you can get here truncate option and duplicate option already discussed okay so this is how we can so this is how we can uh, connect PostgreSQL database with Beekeeper Studio. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you. And there is one more thing. Here you can see one is hide. When you click, okay, view hidden. So you can see here EMP is hidden is there. If you want then you can unhide. So this is a beautiful features that's available in Beekeeper Studio. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you.